It's lunchtime, America. We're getting our butts handed to us on the playgrounds and in the classrooms by the namby-pamby blondies in Finland and the tough guys in China. Closer to home, those maple sugar eaters in Canada are running circles around our Tim's and Pisa results, eh? Our science standards suck. Nobody knows any history. Practically nobody can write. Our dropout factories are working three shifts. Parents are panicked. Taxpayers are mad. Even kids, some of them, are wondering what to do to make a comeback. Or they would be if they weren't so busy texting and tweeting each other. And we're all scared because this is no game. China, for one, is poised to take us over. Think about it. I've seen a lot of tough eras, a lot of downturns. I've lived through the age of Aquarius, the disco era, the reality TV boom. I've been through lots of times when we didn't understand each other. Hell, I would have gone out and clobbered those anti-SB5 protesters in Ohio if Terry Ryan hadn't held me back. But I know we can rally around what is right and act as one, because that's what we do. We're Americans. We're policy wonks. We find our way through tough times. And if we can't find a way, we think of one. All that matters now is what's ahead. How do we come from behind? How do we win? New Orleans is one of the places that's showing us how it can be done. And what's true about them Cajuns is true about the rest of us. America's education system can't be knocked down with one punch. We'll get right back up again, and when we do, Shanghai and Helsinki, they're going to hear the sharpening of our pencils and the humming of our computers. Yup, it's lunchtime, America, and the bell just rang for fourth period. <laughs>